Hi and welcome to Keysight Cyber Week. My name is Daniel Bogdanoff. I've been with you live the last couple of days and I'm live with you here today at Keysight Oscilloscope's headquarters in Colorado Springs. Um, today is day three of Cyber Week. It's Wednesday, November 30th. That means we have a scope giveaway today and that there's a daily deal. And there's only two more scope giveaways after today and two more daily deals. So make sure you tune back in every day at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time to check in on this live stream, see if you are the lucky winner of the scope, and to check out the daily deal for the day. So just a reminder, if this is your first, uh, first time here, we have a URL that you can go to to sign up. It's not too late to get an entry for your chance to win this scope. Today we're giving away an MSOX 4104A InfiniVision scope, one gigahertz. I think the list price in the US is a right around $20,000 of the scope. It's a, it's a big one. Um, and it's actually not the biggest scope that we are giving away. We're giving away an MSOX, a uh, four gig, uh, excuse me, a two and a half gigahertz 6000X series scope and a four gigahertz S series Infinium scope, which is the biggest scope that we've ever given away. We're giving that one away on Friday. We're really excited to do that. So check out the URL on the screen for your chance to, to win a scope. You get one entry per day. So you can tune back in that day resets at midnight Mountain Standard Time. We're in Colorado, so we go off Mountain Standard Time. Um, so you get one entry per day. You can still get your entry for this scope today. Tune back in tomorrow and Friday before 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time to get your entry for the scope on Friday. Now, if you go to that URL, you'll get to a page that looks something like this. So you can see you can enter for the oscilloscope giveaway right here. And we have a daily coupon code. You can get that code here. It's only visible at this link for 24 hours, and then it'll be the next day's deal. And then later, you can come back and redeem that coupon code. So to redeem that coupon code, you have to buy a scope between today and January 31st, any InfiniVision scope or Infinium scope. If you didn't buy a scope, you're not eligible for that deal. Um, today's daily deal, I'm not going to give away the code on this video because it's only available on the website for 24 hours. Again, we are giving away an application bundle. So you can get a free application bundle with your scope. It includes all of these licenses. You get that with any InfiniVision scope or Infinium scope. And we have never actually had an application bundle until Cyber Week for the Infinium scopes. With this uh, coupon code, if you redeem it, you buy an Infinium scope between now and January 31st. You redeem the coupon code, you get all of the serial protocol decoding options turned on on that scope. And you have to act quickly because each of these coupon codes is only valid for the first 50 people to redeem it. So the first 50 valid people that come in and say, yes, I bought a scope, they go to that URL and that little uh, redeem the redeem your coupon code link. They show to us, yes, I bought a scope. We say, yeah, you did. And we'll send you those licenses. On the InfiniVision scopes, it turns on every option on the scope. So on Infinium, that license, that application bundle is worth around $25,000. On the InfiniVision scopes, that license is worth up to $4,600 on top of your scope. So great deal, act quick. Only the first 50 people to redeem it are eligible for that license. And we've actually already seen some people redeeming valid coupon codes so from the last couple days, so better act quick. Um, as far as the giveaways go, today we are giving away the MSLX 4104A, one gigahertz. Um, every day I've been showing off something I loved about the scope that we were giving away that day. Um, this is the 4000X. We are giving away this physical unit. We're gonna kit it out with some Cyber Week vinyl. It'll be pretty awesome. One of the things I love about this scope and all the InfiniVision scopes is its ability to do mask testing. So here I have a, a signal on screen. It's basically a clock chip. And mask testing is useful if you're doing any sort of verification and you want to make sure you know, you're not really necessarily going in and debugging and looking for a specific error, but you want to check over time, does my signal behave the way I want it to? And how badly is it misbehaving if that signal is misbehaving? So if you look at the signal, you can see it's supposed to be a clock signal, but what I'm getting is a pretty, pretty regular glitch on this system. And if you're debugging this, you want to know how frequently is this occurring. Maybe you're on a manufacturing line and you're testing devices. You want to make sure that it behaves properly. So we can actually do some mass testing. We can set boundaries around my proper signal. 
and see and look for errors in, um, in that signal to see if we have glitches. So right now I have a golden signal on screen. I can say, yeah, this is pretty much what I want. And I'm just going to set up an auto mask. So I hit auto mask and then I hit create mask. And that's automatically going to create a mask around my ideal signal. And you can see you can change the tolerances and that type of thing. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my analyze button here and make sure mass testing is turned on. Sure is. And I'm going to turn on my statistics. And you can now see I have a number of mass tests running. Since I turned on that mask, we have run almost over 4 million, going on 5 million tests. And we've seen about four failures. You can see them pop up on the screen there. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to leave this scope running I'm going to leave this scope running overnight, and we're going to come back tomorrow and see how many tests we were able to run and how many failures we got on that scope. Um, the reason I love mass testing on these InfiniVision scopes is we do that in hardware in our ASIC. So that's a pretty unique thing that we do, and it gives you a lot higher um, test speed than you would see on other non-hardware-based uh, mass testing scopes. So we're going to leave that up um, overnight. We'll tune back in tomorrow, see how many tests we've run, how many failures. Again, we're already at 12 million, so I'm sure someone online can extrapolate how many we expect, tests we expect to see in 24 hours. And I have heard rumors that this signal actually has an extremely obscure glitch. So we're going to tune back in and um, see if we can catch that glitch overnight. We'll come back tomorrow and check that out. So hopefully I bought you enough time to get your entry in for the day. We are now going to give away this scope. So I'm going to pull up my uh, giveaway tool here. And like I said, I'm going to refresh the page so all your votes um, are, your most recent votes are included. And like I said, um, we're convinced, on other videos I said this, we're convinced that this tool is sufficiently random. We do vet all the winners to make sure that they are actually eligible for the scope. So it, let me get to the right page here because it looks like I am in the wrong page. So I'm going to pull up Cyber Week. So remember, once per day, one entry per day. Um, if you give me just a moment. You know, we're live, so things happen when you're live. That is just part of, could I get my backup computer in? Oh, looks like we're good here. I don't need a backup computer. Sorry, guys. So thank you for bearing with me. I am going to draw one winner to win the $20,000 MSO, almost $20,000 MSOX 4104A oscilloscope. And today's winner is Stephen Richardson. Congratulations, Stephen. We will be in contact with you shortly. You have won this scope, so we'll be in touch. Make sure you still, if you didn't win, if you're not Steve or any of our other winners, you still have two more chances to win a scope, including the biggest scope that we have ever given away. Um, so Steve, congratulations. If you want to learn more about the 4000X series scope, you can check out the URL in the video description. Um, it has some great app notes. There's even an app note just on mass testing. So if that was something that looked interesting to you, you can go check that out. Um, also live today, we have a new blog post. We're talking about USB Type-C, so some general trends for what that looks like in the world. And then if you're testing USB Type-C, we go on to talk about some very specific methods for testing USB Type-C, so protocol, compliance, all that fun stuff. And that also ties in well with our latest podcast episode. We have a Double East Talk Tech podcast on our YouTube channel and coming to your favorite uh, podcasting engine. We'll have a new episode each second and fourth Thursday of the month. So check out the podcast, check out the blog. I think we have a URL for that blog. It's bit.ly.com slash scopes blog. There it is on your screen. So you can go to that, check it out. We have a new blog post every week and that covers a vast variety of topics. So tune back in every week to check those out. Um, it looks like I had a question come in. So I'm going to take a peek at that. Um, so Robert Quinton likes the big screen. We also like the big screen. We also like the touch screen. It's honestly one of my favorite scopes to play with. Um, and <laughs> uh, Frill and Film one also touch screen is an awesome feature. Yes, it, I actually find myself touching the screens of other scopes that don't have touch screens. Um, it drives me crazy to not have a touch screen on my scope anymore because the UI capabilities are just so, so nice to have. 
So that's all we have for today. Make sure you subscribe to the Keysight Oscilloscope podcast. That's how you let us know you like what we're doing. We have tons of videos. We have a video every week or every other week. Kind of depends on the week. Um, but we have constant content coming out. And it's tutorial videos. It's more advanced application deep dives. But subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, Keysight Oscilloscope's YouTube channel, and we're also on Facebook, so if you want to keep up with the latest that we are doing here in Colorado Springs, like the Keysight Oscilloscope's Facebook page. As always, I'm Daniel Bogdanoff. We will be, ba we will be back tomorrow and Friday, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, live on YouTube to give away another scope. Good luck. I'll see you tomorrow.